This is Maria Kina. Kinder tells Total Information AM that he will not apologize for spending a lot of time in the state's economic engine. He says in many cases, he spent less by staying at the Chase, the Four Seasons, and the Ritz. The Sheraton, the Weston, the Renaissance Grand, some Hampton Inns, and they would have a rate higher than the government rate of 105. Kinder tells Total Information AM that he paid the government rate of $105 a night during his stays at the Chase Park Plaza, the Four Seasons, the Ritz-Carlton, and elsewhere. He adds that he's been clear in two state audits by members of the opposite party, a fact he says the Post-Dispatch knew but didn't print. If their allegation is that Auditor Claire McCaskill, now our senator, or former Auditor Susan Monte, now the state chairwoman of the Democratic Party, is incompetent for not raising any of these issues. Kinder says his hotel expenses differ from Governor Nixon's airplane flight costs because his expenses have been audited. Brian Kelly News, Radio 1120, KMOX. KMOX News asked Kinder if his refund means that he's admitting he did something wrong. Absolutely not. I am going above and beyond what the law requires. The law requires that an event be essential to state business before taxpayers pay for a politician's travel tab. Where Kinder's hotel stays around Tea Party rallies essential? It is a nonpartisan event. At Isn't which, that a Republican at which they event? have requested me. It is Democrats, Republicans, and Independents. You're Democrats in the Tea Party? Yes, there are. From now on, Kinder says he will sleep in a campaign funded condo when he comes to St. Louis. Kevin Killeen, News Radio 1120, KMOX. The allegation is Republican Lieutenant Governor Kinder's travel expense audit wasn't tough enough because the state auditor, Republican Tom Schweik, received $200,000 in campaign contributions from Kinder. Schweik's deputy state auditor is Harry Otto. This audit was run by me as the deputy. Tom delegated that away. And now, are you a Republican? I am a Republican. Now, yeah. how do we know that you were tough? Well, I guess you'll have to take my word for it. I've been in the business of public accounting uh, for over 35 years. Otto says the Kinder audit was handled by a team of three long-serving CPAs from the office whose party affiliation he says he doesn't know. Kevin Colleen, News Radio 1120, KMOX. Tammy Chapman tells KMOX that Peter Kinder became enamored with her when he was a state senator, and she was working at the Diamond Cabaret in Sauget, Illinois in the 1990s. I met Peter 12 to 16, 14 to 16 years ago, a long, long time ago, in the early 90s, at a club called the Diamond Cabaret. I was an entertainer, it's on the east side, and Peter would come in to see me, often. He courted me each time he came in, other than financially providing for me. Each time he came in, he would bring me cookies, he'd bring me brownies of his grandmother's recipe, he said. And he was nice for a while, just nice for a while. And as an entertainer, can you describe what, what you would do? What was the rapport? He would be sitting on the floor, and what would you do? The very first time I met him, I was the meet and greet girl. So I stood up at the door and I would greet them in as they came in. He came in, I shook his hand, gave him a hug, gave him a kiss on his cheek, introduced myself, and then walked him to a seat and sat on his lap. And from that moment, I went on stage and he came up to my stage and watched me dance, tipped me very well. And then I took him over for a private dance. And from that private dance on, he became, he liked me, so to speak, a lot. And uh, did he ever say anything in his letters about he wanted to marry you? Or what was what was his goal for the relationship? What did he say? He never mentioned marriage, no. A long-term relationship, yes. He spoke of how fond he was of me, how he wanted me to come to Cape Girardeau to be with him. He offered me several times uh, to escort, accompany him to benefits, charity benefits, his his political... Venues. He, I mean, he was always asking me everywhere with him. And then you broke it off? Yes. Because? He became aggressive with me. How so? I would do private dances for him, and he would grab my shoulders and press me, try to press me onto him very, very forcefully. I didn't like that. And so it was over, and you hadn't seen him, and how much time went by? Oh, my God. I hadn't seen him from the early 90s until four years ago at the NRA convention. And then start up again, or what? Oh, no. We made eye contact. I told my friend, I'm like, that's the man I told you about. That's, I'm like, I can't believe he's running for governor. I can't. I, I, was, I was freaked out. I was, like, completely freaked out. I, I, and then 
I didn't see him again. I did not speak with him, not even at the NRA convention. I did not speak with him. I saw him at Verlin's, too, on Vandevenner when I was working there, when the place first opened, and he walked in. And you were a bartender there? Yes. I, I and what did he say to you at Verlin's? How did it go from there? He walked in. He sat down at the end of the bar. I had friends at the opposite end of the bar. And when he walked in, I told them immediately, that's the guy I told you about. Because I've told all my friends, all my friends, about what happened between he and I. And so I, being professional, I walked down. I was pleasant to him. I said, hello, Peter. Do you remember who I am? He said, yes, Tammy. I know who you are. How are you? I said, fine. I got him a 7-Up and Tonic and went back down to the other end to speak with my friends to take care of them. Came back. I'm like, so, Peter, how's it going? How's your life? And he told me about his governancy, and he's been very, very busy traveling a lot. He's lonely. He asked me what's going on in my life. I told him that I just started the job. Um, I'm looking for an apartment in the area of the Tower Grove area. He said, well, I just got this new place in Brentwood. And he said, it's a rather large place. It's very nice. It has a couple of bedrooms. He said, you're welcome to come stay with me, or you're welcome to come stay there. I'm out of town a lot, but when I'm there, you can come snuggle with me. I said, thank you, but I don't think my girlfriend would appreciate that. And he, he, was, I, he was a bit taken back, I think. And then I said, plus, I no longer drive because I had a stroke. He said that he would provide a ride for me each day that I had to work. I said, thank you, but no thank you. And, you know, it's that aspect of the story that gets all the political people's attention. I didn't know. I didn't know, I didn't know anything about who part. He told me that it was his place. It wasn't until last Friday that I found out that his, his campaign people purchased that place. Now, you seem like a sincere person to me, but you know, politics is politics. Sometimes people get hired to say things. What do you, if some listener has that suspicion? Look, I get nothing out of this. I, did, I had nothing to do with that picture. I emailed it to Peter, and I deleted it off of my phone. He is the one who distributed that picture. He's the one who did something with it, not me. This statement says, quote, like most people, I am not proud of every place I have been, but this woman's bizarre story is not true. Unquote. Former penthouse pet Tammy Chapman told the Riverfront Times and Camo X that Kinder was a nuisance customer at a Metro East strip club where she worked in the 1990s, and he had to be asked not to return when he allegedly got too aggressive. Chapman also claims that in recent months, Kinder ran into her at a bar and offered to let her stay at his condominium in Brentwood, which is campaign financed. Kinder's statement does not get into any of these specific allegations. Kevin Killeen, News Radio 1120, Camo X. It was a well-oiled ruse with a Kinder handler telling reporters that Kinder would be coming in the front door of the Crown Plaza Hotel shortly. Well, that's when Camo X checked to see if he was really sneaking in the back service hallway, and there he was, surrounded by security. Lieutenant Governor, yeah. can you have a few words with Camo X before the event? Just to no. amplify your explanation of this. No, I've said all I'm going to say. There's a lot of people having questions. He's still. said all he's got to say. Not right now, sir. Not sir. sir, I need you. Afterwards, Kinder's black SUV with tinted windows backed up to the service entrance in the rear of the kitchen, and he got in quickly and left. Lieutenant Governor! Camo X wanted to ask him, did he really offer to let a former exotic dancer live in his campaign-financed Brentwood condominium, as she claims? Kevin Colleen, News Radio 1120, Camo X. UMSL political science professor Dave Robertson says this scandal will be hard for voters to forget. It's a kind of sort of salacious story that really gets attention from the average person. And Robertson says if Kinder stays in the race, other Republicans will be more tempted to take him on in the primary. Kevin Colleen, News Radio 1120, KMOX. Peter Kinder admitted going to a strip club on the east side and meeting dancer Tammy Chapman in the 1990s. I can't reconcile the behavior of my more youthful self 17 years ago with conservative values. And I have said that I'm not proud of it. This was a mistake in my past that I owned up to, and 
It is not part of the issues before us now. Kinder says he ran into Chapman by accident earlier this year when he stopped in Verlin's bar in the Grove neighborhood to use the restroom and get a glass of wine. That's when he says she snapped a picture of him and he believes Democratic operatives ginned up the story to hurt his chances of running for governor. Kevin Colleen is Radio 1120 KMOX. Nixon Republican Kevin Elmer says Peter Kinder's behavior does not represent Republican values. Elmer is the second Republican from the Bible Belt area of southwest Missouri to abandon Kinder's campaign, but Elmer says it is not just a religious issue, but Kinder's actions show disrespect of women. I'd like to think that I respect and, and honor my wife, and, uh, and if I'm out there objectifying women in a, in a bad way, whether I'm married or not, uh, that says something about who I am as a person and my willingness to demean women. Earlier, another Southwest Missouri Republican was reported to have asked for his money back from Kinder's campaign. There was no immediate reaction from Kinder's office. From the state capitol, I'm Phil Brooks, News Radio 1120, KMOX. The Kinder campaign is not bowing out. An email statement says, quote, The vast majority of grassroots supporters, donors, and other elected officials have seen this for what it is. The Democrats trying to distract from the third worst job loss rate in the country, a Nixon record of zero accomplishment and an electorate fed up with politics as usual. The Kinder statement goes on to say the lieutenant governor continues to enjoy strong support from all across the state and he will be in touch with Representative Elmer before he comments on his letter even though it says Elmer didn't extend that courtesy to the lieutenant governor. Kevin Colleen, News Radio 1120, KMOX. Democratic Representative Jamila Nasheed offered words of support to the Republican lieutenant governor, who is now labeled the uncertain candidate for governor after the news of his exotic dancer acquaintance. I just think that that wasn't even newsworthy. Matter of fact, I didn't read any of the articles because I didn't find that to be of importance uh, in terms of what he's going to bring to the table as a governor. Nasheed thinks Kinder would make a good governor for education. She's worked closely with Kinder on education issues in the last legislative session. Bill Reeker, News Radio 1120, KMOX. The private fundraiser in Cape Girardeau with more than 150 supporters and former White House Chief of Staff Carl Rove had high hopes. The best way to describe it probably is that it'll be Peter's most successful fundraiser in Cape Girardeau ever. Kinder spokesman Jared Craighead says they were hoping to raise more than $100,000. Results should be out later today. Kinder's fundraising had been at a standstill six weeks with no major contributions reported. He now enters a season of fundraisers that includes a September 20th event in Springfield with Republican Governor Haley Barber of South Carolina. Kevin Killeen, News Radio 1120, KMOX. Um. I'm not talking about politics today. Well, that's not why I came here. Are you running for governor? Uh, hi, Ann. How are you? How Good to are see you. you. Good to nice see you. Nice to see you again. Really. Great Come to, on, welcome great to, be to our with you. place. Thanks for hosting. Oh, we're pleased to have and you. And I put out a statement over the weekend, Kevin, Camp, that I would be me. talking about uh, my future next month. All right. That's all I'm. That's well, all I'm you, saying. You know what would be interesting to know though is uh, you were traveling around the state to assess your options mm-hmm. and and the reaction people had. After and that is continuing. What, what's been the finding it's so far? What's the positive. picture that's emerging? It's been very positive. And in different pockets of the state? Yes. Green County is a real conservative Bible Belt area. Spent the weekend there, Thursday <laughs> through yesterday. How is your support <laughs> in the Springfield area? Very strong. So that you still see yourself as a viable candidate for governor? A potential candidate for governor. <laughs> Excuse me. I'll be talking next month about so my how future. Are we doing on getting your but what about uh, Lieutenant Governor? One more question, we're and really I'll let you go. There was a today, and that's what we're talking about. Lieutenant Governor. There was one donor in Joplin, David Humphreys, who had asked for his money back. What's the status of that, Lieutenant Governor? The status of it is it's a personal matter between him and me, and I can't say anything more. The money has not been returned. Can you say why you don't want to return it? I'm not at liberty to say. Who's holding you back? I met with him. The money has not been returned. There's a disagreement. I'm not going to say. There's no disagreement. There is no disagreement. Doesn't he want his money back still? Well, let me ask you this. This is the last question. When will you make your announcement whether you're running or not? I said sometime in the month of November. I've already said that. And what will trigger the decision? Is there anything you're still waiting to find out? 
sir. We're done. You said one more question. KMOX News Time 303. I'm Carol Daniel. Right now it is breezy, sunny, and 56 degrees downtown at the Arch. The news is sponsored by Ackerman Toyota. Ending months of wavering, Missouri Lieutenant Governor Peter Kinder said today he will not run for governor. In a statement provided to the Associated Press, Kinder said he has decided to seek a third term as lieutenant governor instead of challenging Governor Nixon in the 2012 elections. In a statement released to KMOX, Kinder writes that after keeping his promise to Missourians to travel the state and discuss a possible run for governor, he has decided to seek re-election to lieutenant governor instead. Politico national correspondent David Cantonese broke the story. He tells KMOX's Mark Reardon this has been a long six months for Kinder. He had a taxpayer hotel problem. He had, you know, problems with his Twitter account. He, obviously, the stuff um, on his visit to the, to the strip club in the past, this all started dropping, and it became too much. So now it's sort of a reevaluation. Who is going to step up? While Kinder does not explain in his statement why he is not running for governor, he is throwing his support behind David Spence, calling him a self-made man and proven manager who understands how to create jobs. Kinder says Spence is the Republican Party's best chance of defeating Governor Nixon. The mayor of Kinlock is headed to prison for fraud, embezzlement and...